friend. It is into this state that Chuck and Becca are about to enter. As an officiant, I see many couples begin their lives together. I always look for something a little extra, <laughs> a little special to tell me that a particular love was meant to be. And today I see that in Chuck and Becca. I see it in the little things. They share a sense of humor. Becca notes that now she smiles a dozen times a day when before Chuck it was all too rare. And of course they were able to come together on a wedding officiant who was willing to say, Mowage! <laughs> <laughs> I see it in the way they look past each, other, each other's idiosyncrasies. Like knowing nobody talks to Chuck until he takes out his earbuds. <laughs> and how her car smells like, well, I guess the very least of it is wet dog. <laughs> no, I see it in the hard things, too. These two have completed the Seattle to Portland bike marathon. They have remodeled three houses, including creating this urban oasis from what had been a desert of urban blight. And most amazingly, they did it without getting mad at each other. Sure, they had times they needed to scream, but they always screamed in unison. Of course, most of all is the depth of their love that is plainly visible for all to see. In their own words, she listens to me, even when I say silly things. He gets me to do things I would never do on my own and make them fun. So let's do this. Chuck and Becca will begin their ceremony by sharing the common cup. In this ancient and beautiful tradition, they will each drink of the common cup of sweet wine three times. This symbolizes the sharing of everything in their lives. By sharing their sorrows, their sorrows will be divided in half. By sharing their joys, their joy in life will be doubled. hold Chuck's hands, palms up, so you may see the gift that they are to you. Can you hold his hands? There you go. No, turn and flip your toe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and vibrant with love, that are holding yours on your wedding day. As, she promises, as he promises to passionately love you and cherish you through the years for a lifetime of happiness. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future, as you laugh and cry, as you share your innermost secrets and dreams. These are the hands that will comfort you in illness and hold you when fear or grief engulfs your heart. These are the hands that when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours. Now, Chuck, I would, I would like you to take a look at your hands right now. Really look at them and remember this moment. Because I truly hope that you realize this is the very last time you will ever have the upper hand. <laughs> Chuck, please hold Becca's hands, palms up, so you may see the gift that they are to you. These are the hands of your best friend, smooth, young, and carefree, that are holding yours on your wedding day as she promises to passionately love you and cherish you through the years for a lifetime of happiness. These are the hands that will massage tension from your neck and back in the evenings after you've both had a long, hard day. These are the hands that will comfort you when you are sick or console you when you are grieving. These are the hands that will give you support as she encourages you 
to chase down your dreams. Together as a team, everything you wish for can be realized. When a couple marries, they give to each other a gift as a symbol of their everlasting love. Chuck and Becca have chosen to exchange kisses. Chuck, please give your gift to Becca and say, with this kiss, I marry you. Becca, please give your gift to Chuck and say, with this kiss, I marry you. Therefore, in the name of humanity and the presence of this company in honor of those who've come before, by the power vested in me by the state of Washington and the Congregational Humanist Church of Washington State, I pronounce you, husband and wife, you may seal your vows with a kiss.